Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. A gorgeous rainy day out there. I had some time on the table, played with some prank Franken patches and a heart or two filled with uh, lavender. Thank you, Claire, for sending the lavender. Um, this was actually a February project. It just didn't get done. So it got done today, almost the end of March, but I wanted to share it with you because I had promised I was going to do it. So what you'll need, sewing machine, thread, needle, lavender, Franken patches. I actually show you how to do a small patch of uh, Franken patches. And, hmm. oh, something to jam that lavender into those hearts. So I use denim uh, as well. So I think I tell you all that later. All right, thank you so much for your patience uh, while I was away. And uh, hopefully you can have fun with this project. All right, see you on the table. Okay, here's our project for today. These are two Franken Patches hearts that are filled with uh, lavender. Very, very fun. All right, let's talk about what you're gonna need for today's project. You're gonna need some pieces of denim for the front and for the back of the hearts, and some scraps to make the Franken patches unless you already have some extra Franken patch material laying around, a needle and thread, some kind of a pusher to kind of get the lavender down into the heart, and lavender, thank you, Claire, and your sewing machine. So what I'm gonna do first is actually for the hearts that I'm using I already have some Franken patched material but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some with you so I'll take a piece of this denim and I'm just gonna start sewing the patches on and I sew back and forth like that and then add another piece and add another piece and I just continue sewing all the patches on so I'm going to take these to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew them on. All right, so I'm grabbing a scrap. This one I sewed this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. I don't even pick up my sewing needle uh, on the machine. I just continue on patch after patch after patch. I'll fill this in with something. Sometimes I change the thread on the machine so that there's even more texture and color going on. For this example, I'm just going to use the the one color which is a light pink and a yellow on the back. Well it's just like the good old days Handsome Hubby is um, actually he's working on my project so <laughs> we won't say anything about the noise. So here's that piece of denim uh, with all the Franken patches on it and then you would just cut it out into the size heart that you want to work with. Alright this is part of an old skirt uh, that I had done Franken patches on. I'm going to, oh, which way? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to sew this piece on because this scrap wasn't big enough. And then I am going to sew it to this piece of denim. Okay, so I'm working on two hearts at once. I did leave an opening here on both of the hearts. I'm just going to go around with my scissors and haphazardly cut this. Now I've already done laundry this morning. Had I not done laundry this morning, I would wash these hearts so that the denim would fray but that's not going to happen. So I'm going to cut the other heart out. I have a bit of paper here. I'm just going to create a funnel. Put that in the open part of the heart.
This is lavender from Claire. Thank you, Claire. Work that down into the point of the heart. going to use the funnel. Too much of a pain. I'm just going to fill the heart with the dried lavender. Push it up into all of the areas. It smells so good. Thank you. I have jammed as much lavender into there as I can. I have a needle in my mouth. And I've used the brush side of this to push the lavender down. I have some thread here. I have doubled it just because I'm not a big fan of hand stitching over and over and over again. So basically I have four strands here. I'll poke from the inside out so that the knot doesn't show. And then I'm just going to go around here and slip knot it or slip stitch it closed. If you have a thimble, that would be a good time to use the thimble. I'm just going to use my table and I'm going to stitch that closed. I've knotted it at the end, then I just push my needle back in. Push that thread through, I just snip it, and then the thread is in the center. Now, I love the raggedy. I love that. So it smells good. You can crunch it. It smells good. Thank you, Claire. You can pop it in your microwave. You can put it in a drawer. You can put it under your pillow. Mm, it smells delicious. All right. Your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.